All right, Fiverr is a lot of different things, but a place to put together a fake proposal for a 50th wedding anniversary to bait and lure in scammers, that's the first time I've heard that one. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a really absurd sounding Fiverr buyer request I saw on Fiverr recently. I'll talk about whether or not I think it's legit and how I might respond or not respond to this type of request. And for those of you who are new here, this video is part of my new video series called Deconstructing Buyer Requests, where I look at Fiverr buyer requests on Fiverr, do a little bit of analysis on them, give some tips and feedback on how I might respond to these types of requests to yield the, the best possible situation for myself or freelancers. The goal is to provide you guys with some pro tips to help you get better at responding to buyer requests for your own Fiverr business. So if you find this video helpful and wanna see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the playlist where I save all these videos. All right, so here's the request. I'm gonna put it up on the screen for you. Basically, this person is explaining that their family business has been targeted by scammers and that they are sick of it. This is totally nuts that someone decided to turn to the freelance powers of Fiverr sellers to bait these scammers and get revenge for their family. I mean, this could make a pretty hilarious news story, especially if they succeed at this task, right? Family business uses $20 Fiverr gig to take down scam ring. Like what a crazy title that would be, right? But after reading this request a couple times, I got really concerned and curious about what specifically they're asking for help with. They need help creating a fake 50th anniversary proposal and a fake event planner proposal. Now I sat down and thought about this for a while. I can't wrap my head around how either of those things would help them take down a scammer. It kind of sounds like they might be scammers trying to scam people out of deposits for 50th anniversary planning services and general event planning services. Like how would a fake business proposal get a scammer? Usually you'll send out a proposal to a potential client that you want to hire you for something and you would then collect a deposit to secure your services. So I mean, guys, tell me, am I being just way too skeptical here? Because to me, this kind of sounds like the scammer is outsourcing the work to create really good fake proposals that they can use to bait potential clients with. Am I missing anything here? Seriously, let me know in the comments. I don't know, already 13 people have replied to this buyer request with interest in doing the work. This is obviously something I would never respond to myself and I probably would recommend you do the same. Aside from the obvious ethical concerns here, I don't think any freelancer wants to get themselves into the middle of a potential scam war. Sounds pretty funny, honestly, but I'm genuinely curious whether or not you all think whether, did we just like spot a scammer trying to outsource part of their scam? Like create the marketing collateral to lock in poor victims of scammers? Like did we just spot this on Fiverr buyer requests? Or is this just a family business trying to get scammy with a potential scammer who's been messing with their business? Whatever you think, what a crazy one. Leave your comments down below. Can't wait to hear from you and you know get a little debate going back and forth in the comment section. I'm curious if I'm being too cynical, but I've seen a lot of stuff on Fiverr and my, my spidey sense radar is pretty high nowadays. So let me know what you all think. Hilarious Fiverr buyer requests. And um, yeah, until next time, cheers.